group of people who think that humanity is scum and they want to run the planet, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We have a problem. We got a problem. Absolutely. Let's take some phone calls. Matt in Illinois, you're on the air worldwide. Hello, Alex. Hello, sir. Hi. Um, I'd just like to start my call by saying I'm 22 and I think all this stuff is unfair. And uh, so, yeah, so I started um, listening to your show like in 2006, 2005, and like I, uh, you know, talked on the Internet about it. And um, someone uh, bugged my house, and um, it, it, I was just wondering if you've had similar experiences with that. Well, sir, I don't know what particularly happened to you, but we're all bugged. Uh, Google admits and Yahoo admits they have patents and are doing it with the onboard microphone in all new uh, computers and the little camera. About, and, and now uh, Apple has a uh, patent. They're coming out with it where the screen itself is a camera. So you can't escape it. Because at home I put a piece of tape over it. And they admit that AI computers, they say, don't worry, a human isn't listening. AI computers are dialing in and listening for keywords, and if they hear a dog barking in your house, Google ads for, for dog food or dog health care products or dog frisbees, this is Google saying this, this isn't me, pop up and you tell somebody that and they just can't believe it. Or I told people OnStar was being used for the FBI and others to dial in without warrants and listen to you because it's an audio system on a cell phone based. Uh, or I tell people about all this, they can't believe it and then the media instead of covering what we're saying they'll focus in on some guy on the internet doing a hoax claiming that his digital tv converter um has a microphone and camera in it and then discredit everything off of that alex i'll tell you what's not a hoax i just got a word the other day that the texas transportation commission is going to be sponsoring a seminar here in austin in april to discuss how you track and trace everybody in their car and charge them by the mileage that they drive. Oh, no, the feds have announced force, it's going in. And force everyone to have uh, some little gizmo in their car so they can just, you can be a little bug on their screen the whole day long, know exactly where you went. Well, they're already using, under the Telecommunications Act of 96, all cell phones, even when they're off, are GPS triangulated by the cell towers, and they dial in with the audio. And the first time I saw it five years ago, it's in Matrix of Evil, uh, the governor of Wisconsin blurted out, it was in the newspaper, that, oh, we're tracking you on with your cell phones at the emergency management center everywhere you go yeah so that's what i'm saying now they're going to be bringing it out in the open into a nice conference to discuss the feasibility of taxing you depending on where you go and how you drive and of course in order to do that you know you just have to be plugged into the matrix don't you yes uh, thank you uh, caller uh, let's talk to glenn in pennsylvania glenn you're on the air yes alex yes sir yes sir good, good afternoon uh I just wanted to call. I'm a first-time caller, and uh, about uh, 13 years ago, my brother was in San Antonio, and uh, uh, about two years ago, I injured myself, and he, uh, he told me, he said, start listening to this guy. Uh, he knows what's going on. So I started to pick up on you, and I started to listen. Uh, I got so much to talk about, but... Uh, You've been listening thing, for 13 years. No, my brother has been. My brother has been. Uh, he he was one of your first people down in uh, down in uh, San Antonio. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got so much to talk about, but uh, the main thing is that you had a caller on yesterday that uh, uh, sounded like he didn't know what he was. Uh, he had been listening or anything, and he wanted to, to find out when you wanted to to uh, what what was the sign was going to be. Uh, once, once yeah, he was get... saying that I don't cover population control and reduction, so this credibility went out the window then. And then he said that, oh, there's really kind of no hope and nobody's doing anything. When the state of Texas is introducing tomorrow a bill to declare sovereignty against the feds that have been taken over by foreign banks. I mean, all we do is talk about solutions. Well, I hope that the state of Texas is uh, uh, passes that and that... Uh, wouldn't it be ironic if the uh, Lone Star State were to lead the uh, the rest of us? Uh, the thing is that once we start, it's going to have to. Everybody's going to have to kick in and uh, give them so much uh, heartache and spread them so thin that we would be able to defeat them at that point in time. That's right. I hear you. I appreciate the call, Drew in Oregon. You're on the air. Go ahead, Drew. If you want to be on air. Oh, hey, how's it going? Good. Go ahead. Well, 
I was uh, calling to talk about the. Uh, I'm, I'm in Portland, Oregon, and uh, currently I've been noticing that I went to go get on the the light rail that runs throughout the city here, and I noticed that they replaced all the machines with credit only machines. Yep. Uh, not to mention that uh, I, I use the transit quite a bit here, and a lot recently I've noticed there uh, there have been a lot of police and uh, transit checkers walking around asking for people's IDs. and Yeah, they're tra- first they train you to go through checkpoints and be searched at airports. That's dog training. To be a slave, line up, show us your papers. Then it's the transit, then it's the trains, then it's the side of the street. Homeland Security admits this. And Southwest Airlines, uh, major train stations, businesses are saying no cash now because they're getting ready in the next few years to abolish the dollar, bring in a North American Union currency that is digital. And that's why they now have the North American Union ID card. Stay there. We'll talk more about it when we get back. And I want to get Bob Dacey's take on that as well. You want to ride shotgun a little bit with us with uh, Mike Rivero coming up? Why not? All right. I can see Mike Rivero. He's waiting in the wings. He'll be with us in about 10 minutes. There he is on screen right there, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we'll be right back. He'll be joining us from Hawaii. And I see the Australian film crew right out there. Companies continue to lay off thousands of people. Unemployment is the highest it's been in over 30 years. Statistics prove that in a recession, crime rates go up. Everyone needs something for that extra edge to prevent becoming a victim in these difficult and trying times. You need to prepare yourself with DPS Pepper Spray, available at MrDefense.com. DPS is the strongest pepper spray in the market and is the same spray used by hundreds of law enforcement agencies from around the world. Need something more? The Scorpion Stun Gun is a great way to take down a potential potential attacker. Mr. Defense also carries the largest selection of air tasers, knives, self-defense keychains, swords, batons, survival, spy, and tactical gear. Mention this ad and receive 10% off of your order and a free self-defense keychain. Visit MrDefense.com. That's MRDefense.com or call 1-800-313-6400. That's 1-800-313-6400 for all of your self-defense needs today. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history, a terrorist act of war against this country. The enemy struck America on September 11th. But who is the enemy? Bin Laden. This is his MO. We have to look to the Middle East. We have to look to Osama bin Laden. Fabled Enemies is the first 9-11 film to take a close look at the terrorist ties to intelligence networks inside the United States. Some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S. I'm aware that uh, some Israeli citizens have been detained. Bin Laden's connections to the CIA, the hijackers' ties to the FBI, the Saudi Arabian connection, the Israeli intelligence network, warnings and war games, the shadow government, and much, much more. Fabled enemies. Get the DVD at Infowars.com or see it in super high quality, along with hundreds of other titles at PrisonPlanet.tv. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. Millions of Americans are beginning to realize the enormity of the economic and political problems facing the U.S. and the world. And for the first time in their lives, they are feeling the need for preparedness. Ready Reserve Foods has been in continuous operation, manufacturing the finest and dehydrated foods for almost 40 years. Ready Reserve is the manufacturer. Unlike other companies that just broker canned foods, Ready Reserve controls the quality from start to finish with double enameled cans and nitrogen packaging. When purchasing from Ready Reserve Foods, you are buying factory direct at wholesale prices. Other companies are quoting delivery times of one to two months, while Ready Reserve ships within five business days. Many companies do not even offer a catalog. We will be more than happy to send a catalog to you free of charge. Dial 1-800-453-2202 1-800-453-2202 or visit our website at readyreservefoods.com Factory Direct Wholesale Pricing from Ready Reserve Foods. Call us at 1-800-453-2202 Day after day Alone on a hill The man with the foolish grin is keeping perfectly still. Okay, let's go right back to Drew in Oregon. Uh, Drew, go ahead and um, finish the point you were getting at. So now in New York, in Houston, in Dallas, in Boston, in Chicago, in L.A., in Portland, everywhere, the transit police 
uh, aren't just gunning people down for no reason. They're lining people up, demanding their papers, searching everyone. This is part of our training to live in a total uh, authoritarian police state. They've now announced Homeland Security is for the American people. 20,000 combat troops to occupy the United States and dissolve the states if they try to rebel to absorption into the new world banking system, as announced by Time Magazine. Go ahead. Well, it's it's not just that, Alex. I mean, uh, I, I'm confounded as to why Oregon isn't on board with the with the uh, sovereignty bill. It's, I mean, we're a really liberal state, and we got Washington and California on it. I'm just can't under. I mean, I've written to the Oregon representative and asked him about you know the the sovereignty bills and and uh, what he knew about them, and and I got a reply saying, "What should I know about them?" And I'm just 